before I was an artist, I understood, bro, like, you gotta, you can't be trying to be in a business. He an artist, you feel me? Mm. Like, so that's what you need to pay attention to. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to be trying to get in between, bro, history, street, and all that, and this, that, and third. That's what people are wrong at. Then they go to talking like they know you, you know what I'm saying? And go to speaking on your social media like they just been around you or know you, and shit, you know what I'm saying? And that's what start the conflict. So, like, <clears throat> but some people put themselves in shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Be putting the street shit on the internet. So now, when they do get to the internet, a big gon' get their opinion on it instead of just keeping it in the streets, you know what I'm saying? Yo, this video is sponsored by Los Hermanos, and it's crazy because I always wanted to have a uh, tequila sponsorship. So, shout out to my guys over at Los Hermanos for taking a shot with me, doing this partnership thing. I really appreciate it. Listen, I like it so much, I might just be worse than uh, Rick Ross, bro. So, if you see me on the gram, posting it all over my story and my gram, don't say nothing. Just go ahead and buy a bottle. I got it by the case. So, look, we got the Blanco. We also got the Repo. And you know, my favorite is in Yeho, right? We got it on the way. You know, like I said, we got it by the case, man. So listen, if you in Delaware, you in Georgia, you in Maryland, you in New York, you in Jersey, make sure you go to the nearest liquor store and ask for some Los Hermanos. Hey, my guys. Yo, 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 what's poppin'? You know what time it is. Your boy, Mr. J. Hill. I'm in the building. J. Hill Podcast. Shout out to my guy, the pro creative behind the boards. Yes, sir. We in the building. Tallahassee is here. Florida's in the building. Stand up. Wiz having it here. Yo, what's going? What's going? What man? up, my Super dog? Wiz in the building. You said you want um have a drink with me real quick. Uh, nah, for sure. So, shout out to my sponsor, Los Hermanos, uh, black owned business. Make sure you check it out. Baltimore, Delaware, New York, New Jersey, Atlanta, Georgia, not Atlanta, Georgia. So Atlanta and some other cities around Georgia. Uh, make sure you check it out. Black owned tequila is good, but I'm gonna have my guy Wiz taste it. He gonna give me his. His real opinion. So if it's, if it ain't it, I'm gonna keep it a stack. Just keep it on it. You feel I'm me? Keep it a stack uh, for sure. Joe, you wanna do it? Got to do the honest. I'm saying. Well, technically, I'm from Boston. I don't know how they do it in Florida, but technically, you gotta pour your own poison for real. Oh yeah, you pull your own oh, troubles. Yeah. yeah, in Florida, you pull your own troubles. Yeah, yeah, in Boston. Yeah, when Boston, you pull your own poison. Like you feel me? <laughs> you feel me? Like, you, got to. You, you get yourself there. Like you feel what I'm saying? Let me know what you think about it. Mm -hmm. A grown man glass. Tell me what you think about that. Appreciate you, brother. Pretty good. Yeah, my dog, man. Yeah, what up, bro? Like, How you feeling, brother? Yeah, for sure, man. I'm How you doing, good. man? I, um, I know you, you relatively new with the this music stuff, but you got a lot of motion, like two years now. For sure. And you came out the gate bubbling. Yeah, yeah, man. I appreciate how that shit went for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody, everybody don't really have an opportunity like that. But, you know, it's just the work a nigga put in. You know what I'm saying? It was God's plan, really. Really no, couldn't thanks. go around it. You feel me? How has it been since everything popped? I think the Drake Co song was like a year ago. Yeah, that was like a year ago. Everything, you know, it's real life shit. Niggas just learning this shit hand by hand, like, you know, like ups and downs of the game, the business part, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? The artist part, understanding everything. So, you know, it's coming along right now. I'm in a good position of how you liking it. Tell me some things that you learned along the way that might have rubbed you wrong or got you like you know because at first it's, it's, it's all good and then you start to learn how niggas moving it's like eh, it might throw you off a little bit yeah. tell me tell me about the the year so far yeah that I, I say like you know what i'm saying really just figuring out exactly what you said like how everybody move you know like so like basically a nigga was kind of like taking everything to the heart that be going on in this shit so I had to understand, like, it's a business. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? It's really business at the end of the day. Like, and it's really a game. So you got to play along with it and you'll be straight. You know what I'm saying? Just get in where you fit in. How long it took you to learn that? Uh, two still years. learning it? Yeah, I'm still. It's <laughs> yeah. more to learn, but I learned the basics, though, for sure. It, it's, it's hard to digest at first because it's like, especially niggas like us, where we come from, 
you a project baby. Like you came yeah. from the projects too. Yeah, yeah. Coming up in the projects, like where we from, I'm assuming Tallahassee the same way in Baltimore is like nah, for sure. You know if a niggas not fucking with you. <laughs> like you know that. In the industry, a nigga won't rock with you, but he'll play, he'll play like he do. Yeah. To get see, something from you. And see, I learned like shit. You gotta play like that too. You know what mm. I'm saying? Cause like a nigga used to be on some shit like, nah, I don't wanna work if it ain't Gene. I don't wanna woo. -woo. But now nah, it's like shit, bro. It's business. You gotta mm -hmm. make shit happen. You know what I'm saying? It's about networking. You know, everything ain't gonna be genuine. You can't expect the same love from everybody. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? So you just gotta go around with what's going on. Play the game how it's supposed to be played. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I wanted to, um, before we even, we're gonna go back to that. Wiz, what is that? Is that like a, <laughs> a adjective or is that really like a nickname? Because when no. I seen your Twitter, it was like having Wiz. So I was weird. I, I was wondering, like, is that, like, what, what type of, is that a play on words or that's really just your nickname? It's so crazy that Twitter, that's a fake Twitter. I don't even oh, that's fake? Yeah, I don't even got a Twitter on Oh, God. wow. But now I got now, um, that's my nickname, like Wizard. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. My dog, you know, he incarcerated right now. I free my dog, True. He uh, he gave me that nickname. He was like, man, cut your ass a wizard. You know what I'm saying? Let me call you a wizard. So ever since then, it was a wizard. And I've been whiz and then just been stuck. Ever since then, I just added the having on it and the super in front of it. Okay. What, what's the having for it, though? Like, whiz having? Shit, nigga, having, you know, having, like, having the ability to do whatever. You know what I'm saying? I have a chicken. You know what I'm saying? Having a brain on my head. You know what I'm saying? I'm having swag. Having motion. I'm having bitches. Having motion. It's like saying? endless though. Like yeah, having it's just whatever. Like having whatever. You know what I'm saying? I like that. That's fire. Yeah, yeah. That's hard. Sure. That's hard. All right, man. So um, it, it seems like, like I said, man, you you jumped in a game. You got co-signed by damn near everybody. And it's funny because I wanted to ask, just doing a little research, I see like you even listen to your music. It's like, I don't know if you would call it like a lazy flow. What would you call it? It's like, I'm going to be real. I don't even call it no flow. Because mm -hmm. like, uh, the people might not even know this, but like, you know, like, I actually be talking like how I'm talking right now to the mm -hmm. mic. I be talking like that. So it's like, I don't even be thinking. I Like, to me, I don't look at it like a flow. I'm just really just kicking flavor. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just on this bit, mm -hmm. sounding how I sound. You know what I'm saying? But... A nigga already so laid back and so kind of like quiet. It just sound like a lazy flow, but we can, I'm just say we can the call effortless it. flow. You effortless, know what I like that. Come on, effortless. I like you know that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah. That's that's more swaggy. So effortless flow, right? It's funny because I'm listening to it, and the first thing I think about is like Detroit niggas. Oh yeah. And then I'm I'm just of course doing my research on you, and that was a, a heavy influence on your music. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, I've been, and it's so crazy, because I've been wanting to do the music shit, you feel me? But, like, listening to everybody, like, just the regular music that everybody listens to is like, okay, this shit is, like, it, it motivated me, but then it's like, I don't really know if I could rap like this. Like, you get what I'm saying? Because, like, these niggas, like, doing, like, different shit. This shit kind of, it's felt, it, I kind of felt like shit rapping was, like, on some next level shit. Like, you got to really have bars and shit, you know what I'm saying? But then when I heard them the 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 boys in the D, everybody in the D, it's like them boys having fun with it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like they actually talking shit. Like they got bars, but the bars they saying is regular is like normal shit that people can catch on to. You ain't gotta really like sit down and down a Google a word. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not saying it's too simple, but like it's like them boys having fun with it. They can mm. get in it be like real, for instance, like real can get in that bit. Real can be talking about pancakes and shit. You know what I'm saying? But he gonna have fun with it and the shit gonna be hard. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And it's gonna be punched in off the dome. You know what I'm saying? Like instead of having to make a structured song, oh, this the chorus and this the nah, they just getting that bitch and have fun. That's mm -hmm. why. That's what. That's what really motivated me. That's what. That's what turned me up about them boys. Like they have fun. I, I'm trying to figure out being all the way in Florida, like duck down south, and I feel like Detroit is like <laughs> that's like Midwest kind of right. Yeah, right. Yeah. Where did you? Who? How did you even get introduced to that? That, that shit. I really. I'm gonna be real. Like, I got family up that bitch type shit. Okay. Yeah. Like they moved from Thailand and went up that bitch. So, but they not really like into the music. It's just like shit. I had a little exposure, like trying to figure out what was going on up there, cause I do got family up there. So it's like shit. You know, as a kid, as a jit, as a teenager, like damn, let me see what's going on 
up there, you know what I'm saying? Shit, you got rappers coming out. And then it's like, okay, like I said, when niggas seen certain rappers come from Detroit, but it's like, shit, I know it's more than that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, so niggas just really kind of went and doing my research down now on some A&R shit, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Researching, just looking up all the artists, you feel me? Who was the first one that you would, who was the first artist from Detroit that you was introduced to? That you was like, damn. Oh, I ain't gonna lie. The first one was Babyface Ray. Okay. Yeah, then it went like Babyface Rio. Then I jumped on V's. Rio um, hard. Yeah, when I got on Rio, it was like, damn. Yeah, nah. I'm like, damn, he he cranking up on the ass. Then when I had them foot around and got on like niggas like Damn John Boy GT, mm. you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. I'm like, this shit crazy. Like they got all type of lanes, you know what I'm saying? Like they got everything on that bitch. You know what's crazy though? Yeah, we can say we, we I definitely see the the inspiration from Detroit rappers because their flow is similar. But at the same time, I feel like it's it's been a few artists that come from Florida that sound similar, like Lil Tyler. He kind of got a similar flow. Would you say this? Would you say that? Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's like, you know, it's like it really just piggyback. It's like I say it piggyback off of off of what I say, like the effortless flow. You know okay. what I'm saying? Cause like it's on some shit like, all right, and Tally, you know, like, it was, like, we never had our own flow. You know what I'm saying? Like, we never had a flow that can, or we never like had nobody come out. Specific sound. Yeah, we never had nobody come out and everybody chasing that sound. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, like, it's like, okay, you had Boston come out, he had his own sound. T-Pain. I, yeah, I think. T-Pain came out, yeah. own sound. Yeah. I, I came out right after Boston, own sound. Tyler, you know, Tyler in the mix, too. Tyler came out. He had his own sound, but just we complimented each other. It sounded kind of cohesive, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just the effortless shit, you know what I'm saying? We didn't, we didn't have no cadence, like, no energy getting on the mic, you know what I'm yeah. saying? We just, like, letting it flow. You know yeah, now, it's still swaggy, kind of, though. Yeah, I ain't gonna yeah. lie, like, Tyler, that little nigga going crazy. Man, that nigga is gas. That nigga <laughs> got some shit. That little nigga talented. Bro. Yeah, For so, real. I mean, I ain't... And, and it's funny, because Florida in general... I feel like y'all got some heavy hitters down there. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie right now. Like, I don't know how people gonna take this, but like, right now, Florida is the is the wave. Like, you feel me? You gotta come through Florida. Like, if you're not getting booked in Florida, you're not doing shit with Florida artists. Like, right now, it's like, you feel me? You're not like- How is them bookings right now? I'm curious. Like, how? Like, if you get booked for a show in Florida, how is that? Like, is- it, 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 I mean, I mean, it's like, you gotta, it's, it'll always be like, it'd be a hit or miss, like, you know? You might, that bitch might do it. It might not. You know what I'm saying? If it do it, are they turning up to your shit? Oh, hell yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Me popping out of Florida for sure. I thought you were saying like in general. No, no, no. You like, yeah, like, yeah. if you pop out of the Florida as a Florida show, because like you said, it's effortless flow. Like it ain't, we ain't, it's not like coming with a crazy energy, but I'm wondering no, like the club sure. still going up? Hell yeah. Because like really, they, they really fuck with the classics. You know what I'm saying? The classics, I kind of had a little more energy on it, like mold and shit like that. Not where like nigga. What about Easy E? See, Easy E, they fuck with it. I still perform that, you know, but people still turn up. See, but that ain't really like no. They don't really got that energy in it. That was the first song I was like really recorded and like put out type shit. You know? But even on the end of that that song or the video, like niggas was turn. That, was that your song? Yeah, I'm assuming. Was in the club. Hey, yeah, that was Easy. That's that's it's different because like it's it's effortless. So yeah. I, like I'm thinking like niggas turning up to this like. Hey, yeah, it's Florida. You know Florida, we gonna turn up regardless. Yeah. But yeah. then it's like y'all still young too though. Like it's yeah, a different right. wave, and that's another thing I wanted to ask you. How were some of the artists, uh, like taking taking heed to you? Like are they are they embracing you or because you know some niggas is so different that they don't like it. Like like you said, it's not like a bunch of bars. It's not gonna hit you over the head with a bunch of like. L- lyrics and shit like that But I feel like That's a lot of the New young niggas Nah for sure Cause right now I mean like The music is based on Bars and shit But it's really based on You know what I'm saying If you can catch If you can catch Everybody's attention Type shit You know what I'm saying So like Is like, the older niggas Fucking with you Or like how Yeah was hell yeah I ain't gonna lie all the, like, all, like, like really like I done talked in With a lot of OGs And this shit You know what I'm saying I done talked to a lot of people And a lot of people Probably wouldn't even expect Me to be tapping in with You know what I'm saying Like mm. Like shit like that Like so like This shit definitely I'm getting embraced by everybody I get love from everybody You know what I'm saying Even outside of the internet You know like A lot of that shit Don't be seen on the internet I don't really broadcast A lot of that shit You know like I ain't the type of nigga To screenshot no message And be like Oh such and such You know what I'm saying a nigga just be moving in silence. I'm humble. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So, like, uh, yeah, this shit really do it. 
No, nah, that's that's a fact, bro. And it, even like it's funny because even when we go back a year, let's just say the Drake thing for for a quick second, right? That happens. Do you see people automatically like kind of like jumping jumping the gate, the rock with you because of that? It's like, bro, come on, I've been here. Yeah, it, like not even let's not saying new fans, but. Niggas that probably played the fence and then that happened. Now they hopping on your dick type. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You seen that happen? Yeah, I seen all that. I seen, I seen, I seen the worst of the worst shit happen. The funniest shit happen. Like, I seen all that. Like, that shit get crazy. And that was that was one of the main things I had to really learn how to just process. You feel me? Like, this is what's gonna happen when you when you actually going up. This is what's gonna happen. So like. Yeah, that shit was crazy. It's my guy Kyra, man. He also worked with me too, dog. Yeah, for sure, it was good. Man, man. Wiz, we talking to y'all. Um, nah. So who who is somebody that not not the Dick Riders, right? Not them. We ain't talking about them. Who is somebody that started to support you or a new supporter that kind of like shocks you? Like, damn, this is one. like who was that? That um Lamar Jackson, like a new yeah. Lamar Jackson, like when Lamar okay. Jackson hopped on Easy, you like that's cr oh he when he when he posts Easy, you like yeah. damn that's crazy. N fast forward, who was somebody else that was kind of gave you a similar feeling? I ain't gonna lie, um, Rod Wave. When I seen Rod mm -hmm. Wave tap in with me, I was like, damn, yeah. like what the fuck, like what is shit yeah. for real? Yeah. Like Wave, like damn, but uh. That that's that's one of the major ones, and that's that was like some that was like some shit like you know like that really had me thinking like boy I gotta turn up some more for real like mm. bitch waves tapping in with me. That mean I don't know who's seeing me right now. You know mm. what I'm saying? Let me ask you this: this something that that probably still bothers me to this day. It comes to a point where you you get in success, right? And I talk about this a lot in my interviews. We talk about the bottom level, the middle level, and the top layer. Like we all trying to go to this top layer, and I feel like the middle level. Is the most frustrating because you're almost there, but you're not there yet. Niggas know you, niggas they they showing you love, but you might not be getting a feature, right? Tell me, is it frustrating? Have you gotten to that point where Rod Wave might acknowledge you, Drake might acknowledge you, but it's like, all right, bet hop on the track. It's slow, but they know you, they acknowledge you. Did you get to the point where that's frustrating, or is like you still just embracing it? And you like you glad to be here? Where you at mentally when it comes to that type? I mean, of time? nah, I see certain it's, it's certain situations like. You know, like the the Drake, the Rod Way, I never look at them boys like that. You know, because like shit, even them reaching out to me, I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I ain't even a type to even throw no song at them. You know what I'm saying? I'd be like, hey, let me get a, nah, I'd rather it be just regular, you know what I'm saying? Like regular relationship. And then that music shit come afterwards, you feel me? So, but like as in other artists and shit, like, you know, like, a nigga be like, damn, like, you know, like, okay, but like, you know, like, let's lock in. But, and then they be moving a little crazy, but like, I mean, I don't really, I like I say, like I look at it like business. So like, back then, yeah, a nigga probably would have been like, oh man, that nigga ain't fucking with me, like that shit flaw. But now it's like, shit, you gotta understand, that's just how shit go. Cause I, 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 I be ending up catching myself doing shit like that sometimes. You feel me? Like an artist might get in touch with me. I might even be tapping in with them boy playing that shit every day, but. Bro might send a song, not even intentionally. I just might not even end up jumping on that bit when he expecting. You feel me? Mm. Nah, if if I'd have had a few and getting their head like, oh, bro, this ain't fucking with me. When I follow me, on you know what I'm saying that type of shit. But like, it's like, it, it it's not like I'm not getting on it. It's just like I ain't gonna do it probably when you expect it. Mm. And then I know like, shit, that's how I be with bigger artists too. Cause everybody busy at the same time and everybody got their own shit going on. So, yeah. like, um, you know what I'm saying? It's great that you have that introspection, though, because that'll humble you. Like, it's funny because, like, damn, bro. No, nah, that was some real shit, bro. Because I had that same realization. Like, I'll get upset when I'm trying to get these super big artist interviews. And, like, they'll hit me like, yeah, I want to do it. But they take that time. And I had to look at myself and one day I had a conversation with somebody. And I'm like, bro, it's somebody in my DM trying to get an interview for me that I that they not even worth it for me. So if somebody looking at me like that, I can't be mad because I'm doing the same thing to somebody else. What happened is niggas can't do that type of like self-reflection. So now they just jealous of what they can't get. Whole time you doing it to somebody else. So you should be able to understand. You should at least understand like, yeah. bro, he ain't trying to get to it yet. Like, yeah. nigga saluted you, nigga acknowledged you and everything. What you want? Like, what you expect from the nigga? Yeah, like, you feel me? Like, bro, that's what, and that's why I say like, 
I never look at them like that because, bro, like, nigga support me and you don't even know me. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? Like, you never met me, never seen me in real life, fam. I appreciate that shit because you got to think, they got people around them that they could support and they could put on that platform. You feel me? Mm. You put me on the platform, I appreciate that shit. You mm. know what I'm saying? For sure, I appreciate small shit and this shit, whatever. Like, you know what I'm saying? I appreciate a light. Like, you know what I'm saying? From certain people, you know? It's just, it's just only, and, and the reason why I appreciate it because it's motivation at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? It turn mm. it, 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 that's what makes a nigga go hard. You know? Yo, crazy segue. And we talked about this off camera because I ain't trying to catch you all guarding like that. Man, you, we don't have to. We already talked. We already yeah, talked. You know. Talking about this <clears throat> industry shit though, bro. And this is just some real conversation. Like, fuck all the internet games. Does it make it hard with the industry slash street shit? Does it kind of make it hard for you <clears throat> to maneuver how you want to maneuver with the people you really rock with? I mean, somewhat, but it be on some shit. Like, one thing about this shit, like, that's why I don't really be trying to do too much with the internet. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, I understand reality. And I, and, and this shit ain't, and this rap shit ain't reality for real. You know what I'm Come saying? Come on, dog. So, like, <clears throat> a nigga and a, a nigga already like a nigga a real street nigga fan you know what I'm saying I don't like to really even be bragging and boasting about that shit or try to make it seem like glorified or nothing like that but it's on some shit like fam like before I was an artist I understood bro like you gotta you can't be trying to be in a nigga business he an artist you feel me mm. like so that's what you need to pay attention to you know what I'm saying you don't need to be trying to get in between bro History, street shit, and all that. This and third, that's what people go wrong at. Then a nigga go to talking like they know you. You know what I'm saying? And go to speaking on you on social media like they just been around you and know you and shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's what start the conflict. So like, <clears throat> but some people put themselves in shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Be putting the street shit on the internet. So now, when it do get to the internet, a big gonna get their opinion on it instead of just keeping it in the streets. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. like, but like. I'm glad we can talk about this. And, and at this point, like, if you know, you know, we ain't, we ain't about to do all that. But I'm curious, like, when it come to niggas that's, that probably did things for you, put you on, like, forget this internet shit, forget this industry shit, like, niggas <clears throat> that really had your back on and off camera, right? And things happen, how they happen, which we know about. True or not, we don't care about that. But because the internet or... Like you said, industry niggas that ain't street try to put a label or something on a nigga. And now you in a position where it's like, man, if we talking, I don't even want to talk about that. But I wonder if it ever feels compromising when it's like, nah, like these are niggas that had my back. I don't like, I don't care. I'm just curious to pick your brain on that. If you get what I'm trying to say. Man, I don't don't give a fuck. Loyalty is loyalty, fam. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. That's a hundred. You know what I'm saying? So like. This shit, man, people just gotta know uh, what you getting yourself into. If you ain't gonna be loyal, bro, there ain't no reason to even be around niggas, you know what I'm saying? No matter what go on, cause like shit could go left any day. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But you just gotta be loyal. You heard? Mm. Especially in situations that, you know, like like I said, like the internet, bro, they'll spice shit up. You know, they don't be knowing them for real. So like <clears throat> you just gotta do you, really. And this shit, you gotta be your own man, bro, really. Mm. Fuck following the trends, fuck with the internet, gotta say. All that shit. That's what you know. It's, it's, it, I'm glad you said that, bro. <sighs> but it's, let's go back to what we talking about earlier, right? When we talking about sometimes you gotta play the game. It gets hard, bro, because sometimes the game is what get the money. And in my case, let's say because you about to go on a little podcast tour, right? The, the, this fake journalism shit. Sometimes the messy t shit is what's going to get the clicks. The click is going to get the shit. money. So it's hard to it's it's doable. So don't ever get it. I'm gonna let you niggas know right now. It's doable. I'm look at you niggas in your face. <laughs> but it gets comp. It can, it can be easily compromisable or easy to compromise when you're trying to play the game, but still be real. You're trying to like teeter that line. So like, I get it. But sometimes you gotta ask. Sometimes you gotta ask yourself like, what do you want? Yeah, but it's ways to do shit too. Like. You know, like I said, if they ask me a certain question I don't want to ask, they looking for a certain answer, but I'm going to get, I'm going to get asked the answer they wouldn't expect. Mm-hmm. I might, I might fuck around and snap. Not even you though. I'm talking about the journalism now. I'm talking nah, about the journalist. Cause nah. like some shit you like, we could have easily get on here and 
You know. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, and, and that probably would get clicks. But it's like, who are you at the end of the day? Who are you outside of these cameras? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, f- some things is just, <laughs> it's, it's tasteless. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, and that's I why exactly I be saying, what like, saying, man. and, and I, I would get, like, niggas try to play the clickbait shit, and I get it because it gets you sales. I don't, I'm just a firm believer, but like, if you got motion, you can make it work regardless. Yeah, you're going to make it work. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, that shit be like, that's like doing an interview. And like if I was to do an interview, right, and, and a nigga asked me a certain question, and I turn it down, and then after the interview, he'd be like, man, we might need to redo that, man. I need something to, I need something to, <laughs> like, nah, bro, we ain't doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like, what you want? You know but, but also, I'm going to be real, though. A lot of these niggas, I, niggas really just niggas don't have no swag for real, and I mean that because like we just talked about a lot, but we ain't talk about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. We, like if you, know, it's a way to talk about like, and we just yeah. we, we talk about a lot. We ain't say shit. Oh God, you feel, <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like we just like for real. Like, and, and we don't so, gotta I'm go on the internet and put, and it, I don't gotta do that. Yeah. Like it's cool. Like if you get it, you get it, and if you don't, most deaf. It is what it is, yeah. and I think even when, not to get caught up in this podcast shit, but like. I feel like, but that's what makes your guests comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Like, and make a nigga want to come back. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. it, and it's, it still give your fans something to look forward to because the people that know, they know. And if they don't, they shouldn't know. You know what I'm oh saying? Like, you want to ask all that messy shit? That shit, I'm nigga like, I don't want to. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you bitch at this point. Yeah, like, I ain't rocking with that. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like, I ain't rocking with that, bro. I don't want to do that interview. No, like, no fact. You know what I'm saying? No, fact. Did you, let me, let me ask you this then, since we on a compromising conversation. Have you caught yourself doing anything you might not really want to do for the sake of the business? Yeah, yeah. What? Bro, I'm gonna be honest, like some of the music I make, I probably, I probably would never thought about it. For real? jumping on some of them beats. But it's like, it's like, nah, nigga, no, like I gotta expand. If I don't, I ain't get get no to your fans. Give me a uh, a song that you. You really ain't want to do, but you felt like you had to compromise for the sake of growing the business. It's a song I got, but it ain't gonna never drop though, cause I, really? I don't like that. Man. But well, it's like you know what I'm saying. Like my team rock with it and shit, you know. Like, but I'm I'm gonna put it in a category of like a TikTok song. You know what I'm saying? So you don't got no TikTok song that's out right now. Nah, no, no. Nah, nah, I wanna say I wanna say that, but. This is a song that I know for a fact like this year had me like, no, fam, like, I can't do nothing with it. Like, I, I made it and I was like, okay, this is for the, you know what I'm saying, this for the biz. I know this is going to get me going on TikTok. But then I went to thinking about it. I'm like, fuck, no, this is the type of shit I drop. And my fans going to be like, Wiz, what's wrong with you? Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. It, but it's funny because it be those songs that really put you on the map. I know. But that that was just my mindset. I was just so throwed off in the brain. Just then. Let's look at it like this. I don't Because you're 23. But I'm, you're no Lil Wayne, though. Yeah. It was a time when Lil Wayne wanted to cross over into pop, right? And this is one of my, like, iffy times with Lil Wayne. He drops Lollipop. <laughs> Lollipop to this day is probably his biggest selling song. Oh, God. And that was a different genre, but it put him in a different position. You get what I'm saying? So you never know. Like, you might gain more fans than the ones that, that leave. They ain't even, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how I be thinking. But around that time, when I first made it, and I was like, hell no, I'm on some shit like man. I'm speaking for the trenches, man. Them people is not trying to hear that shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like. That's big on branding too. Like, you know your brand. Yeah. So it's like, I'm paying attention. I'm interacting with my fans. So it's like, I see what they want to have done and this shit. If I would, you know, like, if I would have put that shit out, like I said, people would have been like, what the fuck? We just thinking about that. What is he doing? Mm-hmm. Like, is he tripping or something? Like, So we talked about being compromising when it comes to industry and friendships, right? This is a real question I had. I was curious. Do you think the industry make it harder for you to get out the streets? Because I asked that because even like then, it's like, man, I'm speaking for the trenches. I feel like sometimes it almost have you stuck in the hood mentality because that's the music that's selling. But what you think? Do you think your career or the industry makes it harder for you to leave that street shit alone or at least talking about it? Nah, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna keep it a buck. The industry make it way easier to get out of the streets. Cause 
it, well, that's if you, I'm just saying it like this. And I don't know how a lot of niggas are going to look at it. But if you got motion in this shit, it's going to make you get out of the streets. Mm. How can you still be in the streets? You got three, four shows a weekend. You got fucking label meetings and studio sessions and interviews and shit. How you going to end up, how, how can you be in your we hood? We see a lot of niggas still play both sides. Though. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. They play both sides. But I'm saying like really like... <clears throat> Cause when being in what I mean by being in the streets, that's active in the streets. Like okay. you know, like actually in the trenches. Like not no, oh, I'm out of town for a week and I'm in the trenches for the weekend. Nah, living in your city, in the trenches, like actually doing what you rapping about. You know what I'm saying? Like, niggas ain't doing that for real. Niggas might make it look good, but niggas ain't actually doing everything they rapping about and still being busy. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's hard. You feel me? So how do so let me ask. All right, I'm curious. Okay, let's stay there. We hear people talk, well, Russ specifically. I don't know if you're familiar with Russ, but I think he went on an interview. He was talking about um, how Future make music about like lean, but he don't do lean. But it's, it's kind of promoting lean to a bunch of young kids that look up the future. Rappers now, right? Not to get super introspective or, you know, like, Man. but I'm just, I'm just being real. It's a real question. If... If you rapping about something you're not living about, do you understand the influence that it has on the kids that look up to you? Because they essentially gonna want to be like you. Yeah, yeah. That's why it's like, that's why it's like this. Like either you rap about what you living about, or you rap about the shit you seen. Like me, like me, like say Vincent. Right now, a nigga gonna rap about shit that I experienced, shit I seen, shit I done. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Niggas get in this shit and they be trying to make it seem like they doing what they rapping. You know what I'm saying? And they never did it before rapping. You know what I'm saying? That's how you see niggas fucked up in situations like, you feel me, just, you know what I'm saying, into bullshit. Niggas got life sentences coming in this rap shit because they want to be gangster. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like, this shit for real. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it got to be in you. You can't just, niggas wait to get gangster when they start rapping. You know what I'm saying? They wait right. to start doing street shit. When they start rapping, like, like, like how you say, like, front of the trench, like, boom, like, there's a lot of rappers right now. That's why I be trying to explain, like, the industry, that's why the industry will never understand real street niggas, you feel me? Because of some fact, they accept imposter street niggas, and they think mm -hmm. they real street niggas. So they looking at, they looking at the bullshit street niggas, like, damn, these, these guys are real, because they walk in there 50 deep, fire on them. And they talking gangster. They talking crash about, out dummies. Yeah, talking about dissing niggas and shit. Man, this man just got a gun when he was 25. What the fuck? He ain't never seen nothing before. This man just started talking about gangster shit when he was 21. He just got in his first fist fight at 21. You feel me? And y'all talking about giving this man, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all want to push him up like they the gangsters. But when a real gangster come in this bitch, y'all, oh, he doesn't listen, man. He's a liability, man. He, he wanna, you feel me? They don't wanna fuck with it because a nigga coming at them the correct way, like, nah, I ain't doing no sucker shit. That mm. shit dead. Them boys gonna do all the sucker shit. You feel me? Yo, that's, bro, you hit that on a one. Like, you hit that on a money because I'm gonna say, I was gonna say in my age, but it's not because you still, it, you just gave me, you made me feel so much better about just real niggas because I feel like it's a dying breed. Because you said, like, bro, real street niggas, the niggas that I know, when we came up, the street niggas ain't want niggas to know they were street niggas. And they were trying to get out the hood. Like, they don't even want, they only want you to know, like, they only own that when they have to be. You feel me? But the sad thing about it is, bro, this internet is a different type of drug because them fake street niggas, they would still do some street nigga shit because it looked good on the internet. That's what I'm saying. And that's what's the, that's the, the crazy thing about this. Oh, you feel me? That's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of these niggas really don't even be having no street cred at all. But the money put them in a position to where they could move around, build a, build some shit up, and now they go to thinking different. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that shit put niggas in bad situations. You feel me? Now I got the labels looking at, like, oh, we going to build. We going to get this, this ex football player right here. And he, he got some homeboys that's kind of gangster. We can get him and give him some money. Shit, he'll talk. He, yeah, yeah, get on that type of time, you feel me? So it's like, that shit be crazy. But you can't knock, you can't knock everybody cause like sometimes bro niggas life's changed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes nigga was on some on some regular shit. You know what I'm saying? 
And it might have just been some shit that sparked that sparked him. Like nigga might have lost a friend, might have had a situation mm. happen, and now he actually on demon time. But a nigga ain't nigga still not on no pulling pulling. You know, like the 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 gimmicks and shit, like yeah. the lame shit, the the the, the square shit. You feel me? Yeah. Nigga just on some different timing, cause like he don't give a fuck no more. Cause you know what I'm saying? Situation took place. Yo, I know you got booked a couple times. I just yeah. want to pivot real quick. And you you pop relatively like quick. What you was doing before this rap shit, bro? You had to have some type of motion. Ah uh, shit, you know, I'm gonna be real. Nigga was just young nigga hustling from around away, you know what I'm saying? Like, and that's just the basics. Like, you know, nigga went through that stage of the hot boy shit, being in juvenile programs, the robbing, the tone fire, you know what I'm saying? All that shit. Like the hood, claiming the hood, beef and shit. Nigga, I already went through that shit. Age 12, 13, you know what I'm saying? So, like, and I stayed locked up, so I wasn't really out to really enjoy the, the, the teenage years after that, you know what I'm saying? Like, from 13 to 18, I was in juvenile, det- like, juvenile detention and shit. So, like, every year I'm getting locked up. I'll be out there in a two, three months and go right back. But in them two, three months, though, hold up, before we move on. In them two, three months... What like was you having like was you popular? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, nigga was popular. But like, like I said, like as a as a kid, like around that time, like a nigga was so like anti and so out the pocket. I would hang around older niggas, so like, I was on different timing. You know what I'm saying? Like nigga was on like I say, robbing hen licks, trying to actually find something to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, I'm on some hot boy shit at twelve, thirteen. I'm supposed to be in the house. Mm-hmm. You feel me? I'm in splats and shit at eleven. I'm supposed to be at the crib. You know what I'm saying? So like. It's like that shit really separated me from all the kids in my age group. That kind of why I'm so mature now, cause like all I had was time to think. Man. I'm in juvenile detention, just sitting here 24 7, just thinking, 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 doing time. Mm. So by the time shit, nigga was like 15, I went to my third program, my third juvenile program. I got out. Shit, that's when I really first started hustling. Like, bitch, I'm gonna sell something, I'm gonna give me some money. And that's when I chilled out on the hot shit, you feel me? Now it's just strictly I'm hustling, hustling, hustling. You know what I'm saying? But shit, niggas still going back and forth to little programs. But after that, it's like shit. I was really strictly on some trapping shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, I just got introduced to the trap and it wasn't no looking back. That's know? when you moved from your mom's crib to your aunt's? Yeah. yeah and yeah. they kind of like let you go almost in a sense. Nah, like my mama was just really on some shit like... Because I got kicked out of public school. I was going to alternative, and then I was bucking in alternative school, so they had done kind of, like, kick me out one year for the rest of the year type shit. You know what I'm saying? And my mama was just trying to, like, get me to go back. They had to let me go back, but I was like, I want going back. So I left for a career, went to my auntie career, and was just vibing out now. But my auntie, wasn't really, she, was, she encouraged me, but she was just really on some shit. Like, you going to learn the hard way. Like, mm. you feel me? Like, you, you, you going to learn this shit the hard way. Go ahead. Go with your mood, you feel me? So, like, I went through that shit for a little while. You know what I'm saying? And that shit was all right. But then, nigga, I had to go and go back to school and shit. You feel me? Try something. But still, still ain't really work, though. Mm, did you... I'm just curious. Uh, I know you're having success right now, right? And, like, sometimes when you have success, we don't have to look back on things like, I wish I could or, or what could have, should have, what is it, things like that. But I was wondering, do you ever look back on it and wish you would have went back to school or wish you would have did it a different way? Like, how does those how does those decisions when you was 15 affect your relationship with your mom, with your aunt now? I mean, I do. But it's on some shit, like, not really, because, like, like, I done made everything, I done, made, I done did everything for the better type shit, you know what I'm saying? So, like, around that time when, when I wasn't staying with my mama, I was staying with my auntie and shit, like, it went... Like, everybody in the family didn't really know which way I was going to go. You know what I'm saying? They knew how, if I was going to straighten up or if I was going to continue doing that shit, which I continued doing it. But it's like, I calmed down in a sense. Like, when it's like, okay, they kind of had lost hope, but then they got the hope back when they seen I went to, like, coming on some shit like, I need money. Like, I'm trying to get money. Mm. And I ain't doing it the hot way no more. Like, I don't take from people no more. Like, I don't do shit like that. I'm trying to get out here and hustle. You know what I'm saying? Like, that type of shit. When they see you that, that's when everybody's kind of like, okay. You know what I'm saying? You might, you, you know what I'm saying? Mm. You might fuck around and, you know what I'm saying, get back on top of your shit. 
and I did. You know what I'm saying? So like, what was the last the last time you got arrested? What, that was for when you got arrested for a year. Yeah, was that for hustling? Uh yeah. It was on. It was only. It was only because I was uh what I was in. I was in a car in the, at the spot type shit. This is like the last little juvenile shit I had got arrested for. I was at the spot, uh, sleep in the car, but I had all my shit in the car and shit. Like uh, everything was on me. But they came, knocked on the window. I woke up, seen the sheriff flashing lights. I just pulled off, really like a fleet and loot type shit. They had and charm. They charmed me with that. You know what I'm saying? And then I was on probation and shit. So that was the problem right there. Type and that's shit. what you got a year for? Yeah, type shit. Uh, I did, but, yeah, like close to a year for that. I did a uh, in my in my in my high risk program when I was fifteen. And shit, my third program, I did like a year in that bitch too. Mm. When you talk about all of that that happened, right? Because and this is what I wanted to ask earlier, kind of similar question. Do you think that the hustling, the getting arrested, you think that had a positive influence on your rap career? Hell yeah, because like, if I didn't go through shit, what I was going to be talking about. And that's what I was asking when I say I feel like the street shit almost influenced, like the rap, the industry shit almost influenced the street shit. Because if I'm not, a, if I if I don't go through some street shit, the niggas ain't going ain't gonna to believe me and I ain't going to have a fan base. Yeah. Which I feel like if you ain't never went through that, you probably wouldn't have buzzed so quick, if anything. But it's ways to do this shit because like. I you like you know like I don't rap I don't, I'm not a drill rapper you know what I'm saying yeah so it's ways to do this shit I rap about flash shit I rap about getting money flash shit trap shit I ain't no drill rapper you know what I'm saying so niggas don't got you don't got to get on the mic and talk about shit you don't do cuz it sound cool talk about some shit you do you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying even if it might sound lame bitch find a way to make it sound hard you got niggas out here make gospel rap fam like yeah you know what I'm saying like, so it's like you, it's like, they can't really like. Ain't no excuses. Yeah, it ain't no excuses. You If if this what you want to be, then okay, cool, say that. Say you just want to rap about it because that's what you want to be. You know what I'm saying? You want to you get into it. You think it's hard. Don't start rapping about the shit and then trying to live it. You going to fuck yourself up. Yeah. This shit is one, this shit ain't no one foot in, one foot, one foot out game. This shit is a two feet in or nothing. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Facts. 100%. Yeah. Get me hit real quick, bro. I, I I don't I do this often depending, but I'm just curious because I'm just I'm just curious now. Give me your top five rappers out of Florida. Even if I might not know them, give me your top five. Out of Florida? Yeah. See, it's hard. I ain't gonna lie. See, that that be the only thing about Florida, bro. Like, it's hard because like it's too many people to it's too many people to even go to like thinking like, oh shit, damn, rap, oh damn, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think. It's OGs and it's young niggas in this shit. So you give me your top five. My top or five. Or not even. Yeah, top five in influential rappers coming from Florida. Oh, influential. Okay, yeah. bet. Cool. I, I can fuck with that. Um, I have to say, you know what I'm saying? I have to say Trick Daddy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to say Goddamn Kodak for sure. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to say... Um, who was influential? Oh, I'm I'm gonna say Rick Ross. I'm gonna get Rick Ross. I'm All right, we got Ross them three out the way. Yeah, now yeah, I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to learn some shit now. And Rick then, Ross, Trick Daddy, uh, Kodak. Oh, JT Money. I can't forget about JT Money. What? That's an OG. Who is that? Yeah, OG. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. whole problems oh, ain't who, no problem. Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? Who that? Who? <laughs> Yeah, Damn, I, I know can't that. I know. Okay, 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 okay. I can't play with him. I can't play okay. with him. I can't play with him. Uh, oh, implies. All right, all right. Nah, I don't like that question. Okay, cool, cool, cool. cool. <laughs> now nah, I'm trying to find out because it's always like a nigga that the world might not know. Oh, you give me top three, like biggest under like niggas like, that if like, you in Florida they know who that is, but oh, like, the world the might not know. Off the radar. Okay. I ain't like everybody know everybody right now. I'm gonna be real. Like all the Florida artists. Who the I'm... hottest niggas? Because I might not know them. All right, shit. The hottest niggas right now in Florida right now. It might not even be less because they don't have to be Lil Tyler. Like I'm saying, like niggas that like they might have been like, OGs too. Like... Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Shit. 
Nigga, you got motherfucking um, Tom G. Tom G. Gas. He from Tampa. Tom G. One of them ones for sure. What's a song like that? He he he. That you play. You play in the club right now in Florida. Niggas going crazy. Oh, uh, that my dog just jumped. As soon as I see him, I'ma let him hit the blunt. Fall through the mall. Let my dog stunt. You know heard that shit. Nah, I never heard that shit. Yeah. Nah, but it's in the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got okay. that. Um, who else I say? Moot boy. You heard the moot boy? Nah. Uh, uh, I told Juvie, slow down. She said, uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, see, that's Florida shit. Yeah, okay, okay, no, no, that's what it is. That's what I get. It's a little drop big out. And then who else I say probably shit? Uh, one more person. Uh, oh, and Whoop. You ever heard of Whoop? Mm. Whoop Gas. Whoop one of them. Two. Why you think none of them never like really went pop globally? Um. Oh, no, I think it was just timing. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it was just timing. Yeah, I think it was just timing. But them boys had a major wave, though. Just like, like that's why I say it was timing. Like, the wave compared to how people wave is now, you know, that shit probably wouldn't matter. But, like, them boys had a big-ass wave, though. Like, them boys mm-hmm. had a big-ass major wave. Like, But it was back then. Instagram wasn't as big. You know what I'm saying? Like, Social media wasn't as big, you feel me? So it was more so like a real street wave, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like this shit be bam, it be bandwagon waves, like you feel me? Temporary waves. I'm curious, do you ever feel like a sense of survivor's guilt? Like, cause like you got wave and it's like you just named, you can name, I'm pretty sure you can name way more than three. It's niggas that came from where you come from that really had real motion. And you really just came out of nowhere. And some could even say, shit, you got lucky, right? Do you ever sometimes be like, damn, like it's real, real niggas from back home. I, I kind of wish I could bring them with me type shit. I mean, yeah. But then again, it'd be like, shit, bro, you got to put effort in for this shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? All I did was just, I ain't going to lie. I wouldn't even really promote myself like that. Nigga just was in the mix, you know what I'm saying? Just at the right time. And, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And that shit just the right people heard me. And shit, it was up. And I just kept going, really. That was it. You still be going back home? Yeah, I ain't been home in a few months, though. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I'm trying to stay from around that bit. Yeah, man. I feel like a lot of young niggas, bro, they they get they get up and they want to keep going back home. It's like, bro, <laughs> niggas, stay out of there. I was like that. I was really, uh, I, was, I was loving home. Mm. But then it's like, shit, that shit with that. Cutting to me recording and making music and like just doing my job type shit. So I don't want fucking with it. Nah, bro, it was good talking to you, bro. For real, like nah, you, for sure. like a good spirit, bro. For yeah, sure, yeah, for sure. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Vice versa, I fuck with you. Bro. Nah, I appreciate it, bro. I mean, this you got you got a lot more to go, man. You got a lot. You got you got some more shit to do, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I can't I know wait. It's coming, I can't wait. What you got coming? Like what's what? You promoting something, I'm assuming. You got to be promoting something. Yeah. I suck at the music part. I'm just like, you know, right now, like, we ain't, yeah. but we can go ahead and get into it. You promoting something, what you, what you promoting? Man, nah, I got, I got a tape coming um, real soon, like real, real soon. I got some, I got some shit on that bitch too. I think this, this going, this going, this going to set the summer off, you know what I'm saying? When you say you got some shit, because bro, I mean, you got some high expectations to beat because you got V's already, Lil Tyler, Boston Richie, you already got, um, it's a, some other features you had. Already, yeah, yeah, I got, I got, I got, I got one with Young Jeezy. Yeah, like, yeah, like. So I when got you say you got shit. some shit coming, like, cause it's like the people I'm working with, I don't think nobody expected it, really. And then it's just not really even me saying that. It's just like, like how you said we was just talking about the flow earlier. Mm-hmm. Like this flow different. Like I sound like a whole new nigga now. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying, but I still sound the same. But it's just like you could tell I got more energy. I'm hungry. You okay. know what I'm saying, like you can hear that I'm hungry all over again. I want. I want this shit bad, you know what I'm saying? Who you working with on the tape? Uh, I got, yeah, I got no cap on that bitch. I got Rob full nine on that bitch. You know That's what I'm saying? Hard. Like, yeah, nigga, coming with some shit on. You that did something bitch. with F. FTB Fat ain't his name. Yeah, YTB, YTB Fat. fat I'm yeah, yeah, me and Fat. Yeah, I yeah, like it. that's bro. You already didn't work with like yeah. bro, like a lot of niggas. Like, yeah, so yeah. you got Rob full nine on here. You got uh, I got no cap, no on cap on here. Yeah, and um, who else I got on that motherfucker? Oh, uh, uh, cap. Um, damn, I forgot. Um, What's it? You you dropped a single for it already? Nah, I ain't dropped a single for none of it yet. 
Um, when oh, you gonna drop? Like what you? Oh no, nah, I did. On? I dropped. I dropped. Uh, I got a single called Local. That be gonna be on there. Oh, and I got Boss Man Dilo on that too. I, I think I just heard something with uh, is the song that just came out like not too long ago. Yeah, that shit was hard. Yeah. What was it? Hold, ticket? Ha, worth the ticket. Worth, yeah. yeah, nah, that shit was hard. I ain't gonna lie. Listen, I'm gonna keep it straight up with you. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't I probably don't have to say this, but whatever. I was listening at first. I'm like, bro, these young niggas, bro, I hate this shit. Like, I don't, cause I don't, but I, I'm gonna keep it 100. I'm gonna keep it funky. I kept listening. It's some shit I like. <laughs> I'm, listen, I'm an old nigga, bro. I don't be liking this shit. I don't like this young shit, bro. I swear, bro. But you, you, you get, you gotta, then I text you, like, bro, this shit, bro, not lying. I kept listening. I like the, the, uh, the um boss man D Lo shit. I like that. Like I like that. And there was a couple other songs. I um I, again I listened to uh Easy E. I listened to like six, seven of your songs. Nah, for and, sure. And... Appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> you got it. Nah, nah no cap, sure. bro. I fuck with it. Um, but nah, bro, um, the tape, when does it come out? You don't know yet. Uh label nah, shit. It's, yeah, it's, you signed? Uh distro type shit. What, Empire? Nah, hell no. Nah. Who you who you? Uh, open shift distro. Open shift. I feel like I heard of him. Yeah. I feel like I heard of him. Why you say no like that to Empire? No, you don't like nah, that. Nah, nah. Like... I wasn't saying like that. You was saying nah. You want to get signed? I feel like you don't got to get signed nowadays though. Nah, not really. You know what I'm saying? I mean, with the timing, yeah, when it come along. But I mean, right now, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm Gucci. I don't really think I need to go like major or not. How you link up with um Boss Man D-Lo? I feel like he got a crazy wave right now. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, so crazy, bro. I tapped down Boss Man D-Lo, like, bro, like, that was like probably like, what, beginning of last year? Bro, probably had like, you know, like, um, my cousin, my cousin kept telling me, like, bro, I found a nigga harder than Jeezy, bro. I found, <laughs> you know, we at the spot. He like, bro, I found a nigga harder than Jeezy, bro. How, how old is your cousin? They're young. He, yeah, nah, he older. He, he older? older? Yeah. Oh, he got some balls saying that. Yeah. But nah, cuz just saying, cause like he popping the yeah, shit, you yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? He like, bro, this nigga, boy, he like, cuz, I'm telling you. I'm like, cuz, pull him up, right quick, pull him up on the TV, let me see. You know what I'm saying? Pull him up. But play this shit. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, but that nigga hard. I go to Instagram. I'm like, cuz, what's the Instagram name? I find out what Instagram. But I had a tap down with me already. I hit him up. I'm like, boy, you gas as fuck. I'm like, boy, you got the hood fucking with you. You know what I'm saying? Reposted that boy. Like, yeah, boy, you gas. You feel me? Ever since then, we just been rocking, you know, but shit, we just not getting to the point where we we actually linked up, with, you know what I'm saying? Got to get some music in and shit. So that, that song is new. It wasn't old. Nah, it's new. How does that feel? I know we supposed to be rapping up, but that's that's dope, bro, because I'm assuming, did you hit him up before he dropped, um, what was the song? What? The, uh, the, the, the song that just popped, that went crazy everywhere. Oh, Get In With Me. Yeah, yeah, the I knew him way before that shit. Okay, so, cool. So, the fact that you tapped in, t- in with him way before that, right? Y'all locked in. Y'all was cool. He got a major wave after y'all met, and he still rocked what you want to feature in a song after. Yeah, yeah, cause like it wasn't even on no music shit. You know, like <clears throat> I was still tapping in with him, like coming on this shit. You know, tapping in with him, like boy, I got you know, and just. But it was just mutual shit. But like around the time I was kind of busy when my boy was, you know what I'm saying, going, I couldn't really get up with him. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was moving around a lot. But like, shit, bro, we still ended up making it work. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Got that and shit. But that down. speaks a lot to his character because a lot of niggas, they get that wave and then they forget who who really was locked in yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. That's why I fuck with, bro, bro. Cool people for sure. That boy real one. Nah, that's hard. That's hard. And you said you got something with Jeezy? Yeah, I got a song on Jeezy. Why? Cause like I ain't gonna lie, like that's that's just certification. I, like, yeah, I know you got to. Yeah, I'm just, yeah. I'm just curious for you, cause you young as hell. Like, yeah, wow. yeah, I'm young, but like you know, like brother, the two the two main artists that I really like fuck with, like on some like influential shit. Like in my eyes, it's like Jeezy and Gucci. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. like it's like on some shit like. You know, getting a verse from Jesus, like bitch, all the old school, all the old heads and, and from around my way. When they heard that, they like, what the fuck? Like, but we done, it's done, it was a celebration. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Cause like, it's like, this some next level shit. They didn't really like, just think about it. Not even on no cocky shit. Like, who, what other artists in the game right now got a song with Jeezy? Young nigga. Mm. Nah. From Florida, like, nobody. Do you feel like you got the whole talent? Cause we ain't gonna say states, we're gonna say Tallahassee. You feel like you got the whole Tallahassee on your back right now? 
Yeah, because I mean, like, you know, everybody, you know, Boston came out. He already, he already, you know what I'm saying? He already up there. Tyler already up there. So, like, I think, like, right now, like, I'm, I'm on some, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm on some last man standing shit, like, to hold the city down type shit. Mm. You know, because they already far gone. You know what I'm saying? When you get to that point, it ain't even no reason to be thinking about the city. You think, when you say far gone, I can understand Boston. Maybe, maybe you think Tyler is already, he already gone? Yeah, and the reason why I say that, I mean, like, and the reason why I say that, because, like, you know, he done already accomplished so much shit to the point where, like, you know, like, it ain't really too much else, like, that mm. he can't do. He already does, you know? Only thing he can do is just keep on expanding with the music. But, like, as an accomplishment-wise, he, shit, he just turned 18. He done did that and everything. Yeah. You, know, you feel me? So it's like. You don't think you this similar or? Hell yeah, but it's With all lot. respect, I'm just curious. Yeah, for sure, mandatory. But it's a lot of shit that I ain't do, you know what I'm saying? Just out of some fact, you know, like, I, I'm, i like I say, this is my first time even coming to the A to really, you know, like, move yeah. around and work, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I ain't, it's a lot of shit I ain't do just off of myself, though, you know what I'm saying? Because I ain't want to do it, but, like, I had the opportunity to, you know what I'm saying? yeah. You're a rapper yeah. now. You're a rapper, rapper now. Yeah, now it's like okay. Now like I'm rapper, rapper now. Like I'm, I'm doing this shit. So now, it's like I got all this extra shit, all that shit, that same shit. I'm talking about them boys. Yeah, I'm finna go do it now. You know what I'm saying? How you on Tyler relationship now? It's still yeah. solid. Yeah, 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 for sure. That's my little nigga, man. We always locked in. No, oh, that's hard, bro. Mandatory. No, oh, this is good, bro. I appreciate you, dog. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah man. Uh, for the people that don't, they already know, but tell them how to follow you and all that. You know, all yeah, that man. Stuff. You know, Wiz having on Instagram, W I Z Z H A V I, three N's. You feel me? Three N's. You know what I'm saying? That's on all platforms. You know what I'm saying? Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music. You know what I'm saying? Wiz having go tap in. My nigga Wiz, man. J Hill, J Hill podcast is right. We out. That was good, bro. That was.